So welcome back to another episode and welcome to a video response to Dreamcast Guys video. Yes, video responses, they don't do those anymore, but I'm doing my own here in my own unique way. And he put out a video yesterday called All the Reasons Why He Didn't Want to Play Let's Go Pikachu. And uh, I watched the video and I really liked it. I was just not a, a stab at Dreamcast guy at all. He, his opinions on why he didn't want to play the game made sense to me. I thought, wow, I totally get this. But what was fascinating in watching it was I was the polar opposite of all the reasons why I want to play this game and why I want to buy this game. And I really want to talk about them today. So I have to kind of go back to the beginning. And unlike Dreamcast guy, I have not been the biggest Pokemon guy. I really haven't. I was in film school when the game was first released and I was fascinated by this game called Pocket Monsters in Japan. I was like, wow, this is such an interesting idea. You collect all these monsters and fight against other people. I love the idea. But I never got around to playing it or picking that up back then. It just kind of passed me by. I was really busy in film school at the time. The next time I played a Pokemon game or got to a Pokemon game was with Pokemon Sapphire. And I picked this up and I started playing it and I was like, oh my god, I totally get it. I totally get the addiction. I like the graphics. I liked, you know, collecting all the Pokemon and finding their abilities, you know, and what worked on other Pokemon, stuff like that. I really got it. I really got it. Then I didn't play it for a long time. And then this summer, I started playing Pokemon X, something that's been in my backlog for a long time. Uh, my wife got Y, and we started to play both of these games, and we would go to the park all the time to sit for the afternoon and play them, and I, we really had a good time. I like the grind of them. I really do. I think they're a lot of fun. So, but I'm not a Pokemon... <laughs> I was about to say I'm not a Pokemon master. I'm not. I don't know every single secret Pokemon that you can collect in all these games. You know, I don't have complete Poke indexes by any stretch of the imagination. But I do like Pokemon as a series. Why am I interested in this new game? Because a lot of people are saying this new game is really, really simplistic. It's not like a Pokemon game and all that. And let me say, first of all, I really want the next Pokemon RPG in 2019. That's what I wish we had now. A hundred percent. I really want that now, but that's not here. Why am I interested in Let's Go Pikachu then? Because I play a lot of complicated games, a lot of crazy RPGs with a lot of subsystems and, you know, Red Dead Redemption with a lot of quests and a lot of things to do and a lot of things to manage, a lot of things to do at all times. I love them. I love those natures of games, Spider-Man's menu system and going around the city collecting all that stuff. I like all of that stuff. Where the reason why I'm interested in this game is because I'm interested in playing a very simplistic game for that reason. And I know the Pokeball, something that I'm very, very interested in. I like the Pokeball. I know it's very simple. It's just all, you know, all in basically one button, you throw it and, you know, you catch a Pokemon and it's, there's not a lot to it. But I really like the cartoony graphics of this world. I like that they're going back to the past with it a little bit. And also another thing, I didn't play Pokemon Go. I have thousands of people that show up uh, in front of my building all of the time to play the game. They all gather in huge groups to uh, mask, uh, you know, capture uh, Pokemon there. And I'm always like, get off my lawn. <laughs> but I, I've always been interested in the game, but I've never played it. So for me, I get to play a Pokemon game this Christmas, and I'm excited about that. Also, I don't know if I'm getting a review copy that's up in the air right now. Probably not by the looks of things. But if I do or if I don't, I am buying the game. I just want to be able to sit on the couch and play a Pokemon style of game and have that kind of fun kind of adventure thing going on. I don't need the crazy style of other Pokemon games. I am ready for this style of game. And from what I've seen, it just looks like fun. And I'm just buying it for that reason. For all the reasons that Dreamcast Guy didn't want to buy it, he's a huge Pokemon fan. Huge Pokemon fan. He's you know, played every single game, collected every Pokemon, and this game is just not for him. He thinks it takes away from the core audience of the original games, and I'm with you on that. I totally get it, 
but I'm also into getting this game because it is not that style of game. Does that make sense as well? And I'm going for something, a kind of a Gaiden style offshoot of the Pokemon franchise. And also, here's the thing, I haven't played that many Pokemon games. i am kind of got that itch to play on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, you know, in handheld mode and on the TV. And I can't, as I say, I can't wait to get that stupid Pokeball. Why? Why? Because I'm, I'm a fan of this type of stuff. I really enjoy video games. I like peripherals. I like silly controllers. This is a silly controller that I think is kind of cool. I think it's kind of fun. And that's the thing. It's just about fun. This is a very, like, a game I'm going into to just have fun. Not to be blown away by a next generation Pokemon RPG, which I am not expecting. I just want to hear a bit of the music, catch some Pokemon, wander around town, fight other Pokemon, in a simplistic way. That sounds great to me. What do you guys think? Does this game offend you? Or are you kind of like me, kind of excited about it and we'll give it a try? Because, like, hey, it's Christmas time, there's a few games coming out, and this is one that I'm definitely interested in. So, anyways, guys, until next time.